Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm going to be showing some craft advent calendars which I've made this year. I've made two Christmas ones and two non-Christmas themed ones and I sold these on my Instagram at the very beginning of November. If you have got one and you haven't opened it yet then come back and watch this video once you've opened it because I'm going to be going through everything which is in the box and showing all the details so I don't want you to get any spoilers. Um, so basically inside I've done 10 handmade embellishments, some of them are single embellishments and then some of them are packs of embellishments and then I've done an embellishment kit so it includes everything to make an embellishment which you can do yourself and then the last one is a dangle charm. So I'm going to go through, through each one and show you what's inside so I'll start off with the Christmas one first, pop this one to the side. So what I've got is I've got one packaged up and one not packaged up so you can see see them both and I did have a lot of fun making these so on the top of the box I just popped my foiled sticker with my username on so for day one I packaged it in some tissue paper and for all of them I've used some foil stickers from Sincerely Libby um, and inside are these word dies and um, the die is from scrap diva design and i used the holly jolly collection from rosie's studio and um, so they're just simple word sentiments that you can use on lots of different craft items and then for day two i just made this little pack of dies some simple dies ready to be used and I've packaged it up in this stripy bag and then for day three is this Polaroid shaker I love making shakers and this is one of my favourite shaker dies as well um, and again this is a holly jolly collection um, and in both of the calendars the, the items are like pretty much exact um, the only difference is like the embellishment pieces will be slightly different everything else is exactly the same and then number four is some Christmas rosettes number five is this Polaroid shake again this is using Rosie Studio Twinkle All The Way collection, pretty rose gold colours, I just added this bag top there with some fringed paper on, number six is some Christmas wax seals, um, I have a video making these wax seals as well, the wax stamps are from BB Craft and um, yeah I've got a process video of how I made them, how they turned out when I tried them out for the first time and then number seven is another shaker, it is this snow globe shaker number eight is some candy cane embellishment Just use some glitter card to make them and then for number nine is these big Christmas flowers and I used the Hearth and Home collection by Rosie Studio to make this one and then added some glitter enamel dots in the centres And then number 10 is another shaker embellishment. I made these little hot chocolate mugs. This is the first time I used this dye and absolutely love it. And again, I've used the Rosie Studio Holly Jolly collection. And then number 11 is the embellishment kit. And I decided to make a kit for the hot chocolate mugs. So you get everything inside which you need 
it's the shaker layer, the acetate, the background piece, some decoration pieces, the sequin mix and the foam tape. And then last of all is the dangle charm. Lovely and Christmassy, it's got some Christmas chocolate charms on, a little coffee mug, a Santa and all different Christmas beads. So I had so much fun putting this all together. I'll put everything back in the box um, and then I'll move on to the non-Christmas themed. I thought I'd do a mix of both um, and then um, people could you know, choose which they preferred best. This is the first time I've made a craft advent calendar for sale because I did some last year for craft friends and I've done some this year for craft friends for like swaps um, but it's the first time I've done some for sale and they did take a very long time so it might be the, the first and last time that I make them I'll see but I did have a lot of fun making them definitely That's everything back inside of their boxes and I'm going to wrap these ones up. And we'll move on to this one. So for this one I packaged it in pink stripy bags. And I got these stickers from St. Celia Libby as well, the foiled numbers. And um, because it's not Christmas themed, ask for like rainbows, flowers and love hearts. And I absolutely love those. So for day one, I've got some rolled flowers, which I've made. For day two... Are some rosettes. Some of the items are similar to the Christmas ones and some of them are different. And then the next one is number three and it is these foam word dies. So they're like cut with foam and then the glitter foam. And they are different spring words and the die is from Kiehl's Craft. Then for number four, I made these word dies using my um, word punch from We Are Memory Keepers. I love using this. Number five is some wax seals. I'm going to have to get two sets for this one. Um, again, I have a video making these. Um, on my channel and then you get these mini ones really cute i've got made with love and then like a little best friend design that is for day five and then for day six is some gift tags and for the collection for this for this box i've used um round trip by maggie holmes it's like a travel themed one, I just love the colours in it. Number seven is this pinwheel embellishment. I've used a gold acrylic stick and then the die is from KS Craft. Number eight is a Polaroid shaker frame. Number nine are these little cake embellishments. I love how these turned out with the strawberry, the strawberry cake. Love those. And then number ten, I did some of these chunky flowers. I'm loving this dye at the moment from AliExpress. And then number eleven is the kit. And it is a kit to make them flowers. So I've included everything which is needed. the All the flower pieces, the foam squares which you need to put in between the layers and the centres. And then last of all 
is the dangle charm and i made this pink pretty one i did a little umbrella charm a flower charm and a little word that is kind and this one is very similar so that's everything which is included in my advent calendars which i've made for this year i hope that you enjoyed watching the video and thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one